go to start recording and this is going to launch the web tool. If this is the first time you've ever been to the site, it's going to ask you to download Java or to um, allow a Java applet to download onto your Mac. So um, once that starts popping up, click allow or download. And once it's downloaded, it's going to launch the tool. It's going to look like this. So this is our little recording space, and we can change the size um, by moving these little squares, or we can set um, an actual size that we want. You can turn on your microphone. You can test your microphone, make sure you're being heard. Um, turn on your video camera. And when you're ready, you hit the red button, and it's going to count down for you. So you get a couple seconds to prepare. And once you're in here, you can start clicking around. You can go to different pages. You can do just about whatever you want. And um, just keep in mind that you have to work in this space. Don't go outside because they're not going to be able to see it. And once you're done, you can click pause or you can click alt P, which works for a Mac or a PC. That's going to pause the video. If you want to continue recording, you weren't quite done, you can start recording again. You can restart if you didn't like it, or you can click done. And it'll give you a little preview. And once you're in here, you can start clicking around. You can go to different pages. You can do. So once you're done and you decide you like your video, you can publish it to Screencast-O-Matic, upload directly to YouTube, or download onto your computer. And I'll be showing you a little bit more about downloading. But for our purposes, I'm going to show you how to publish to Screencast-O-Matic. So we need to log in. And this is the first time you've ever entered this account. You can register for it. It's real quick and easy. And then once you um, register, you can now name your screencast. Um, just some things. Notes are going to... Uh, show on the page so if you have any additional notes outside of the description that you want people to see um, you can add notes captions are within the video and then you have some additional options so if you decide that you didn't like your audio you don't like the way you sound or if you recorded a video and you decide you didn't like it you can always remove those um, I didn't do it with a video but if you have the video on here you can actually move um, where your recording is so if it's blocking something in the tutorial you can move it around on the page um, you can allow users to add notes to your video or comments if you're in a school environment you probably don't want it, it'll be more privacy settings and then we will upload to Screencast-O-Matic and it takes a, a minute or so almost there there we go okay then we can view our video So you can edit um, some of the things that you added once at the beginning. Once you're in here, you can start clicking around. And to share our link together, go to share link. And that's going to be the link that you'll be putting into the wiki so that we can all view each other's. Um, if you want to embed your video for anything, there's the embed code. Um, there are also a little bit of um, additional things that if you download your video from here, you can take away your mouse clicks or the little halo, so the circle. These are really um, important when you're trying to teach someone that's something a little more difficult because it helps the viewer follow your mouse because it can be very small on a screencast. So the halo and um, the mouse clicks that turn blue kind of help your viewer follow you. But if you don't like them, you can download them without them. Now let's go back. Right. When you're publishing a video file, if you want to download it onto your computer, just a few quick notes. I always uh, download as AVI. You get a better quality. You're actually going to get the HD quality that it records in. Some of the other types do not allow you to do that, so I do AVI. Um, if you have anything that you want to add in notes and captions, and then your options, you have a few bit more than you did in the other one. So. Um, you can add, you know, the mouse cursor. You can take away your clickers and your halo so that it's just the mouse moving around. It's not the circles if you want to maybe a more professional look. 
Um, and again, remove audio or webcam. And then you save your video, and it's going to download onto your computer. That's all I have. Um, feel free to really explore Screencast-O-Matic and have some fun making your videos.